Hi, good morning. Uh, this is Emu Suvarna, National Director for BNI India. I look after nearly about 1080 chapters across uh, 121 cities. Uh, so it's a fun thing to managing uh, and uh, helping our regions to grow, members to take benefit of uh, BNI platform. It's a fun thing. I mean, people, a lot of people, they ask a lot of different questions about the network itself. And uh, I come to know on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, the the fantastic, the success stories are, uh, you know, BNI members are enjoying uh, through BNI platform. I must say, Dr. Ivan Meisner has really created a platform where, you know, he's impacted and changed several uh, lives. So I think that's very, very enjoyable uh, journey so far. Great. Thank you so much, Mr. Hemu. It's a pleasure to have you with us. And uh, uh, we, as we have been hearing about you and you've been uh, meticulously handling a huge uh, workload of handling thousand plus chapters. Could you just let us know a little bit about how BNI changed your life? Well, uh, it's a long story. You know, it's uh, I've been part of uh, BNI for almost 15 years now. Uh, my journey has been, you know, from member uh, to regional team and to uh, managing Mumbai team and then now uh, the national role. Uh, it has been a quite uh, interesting journey, so to say. Uh, but because uh, I started my journey as a member, so you know the what happens at the uh, the field level. So I really you know connect with the members, and if uh, they face certain issues, I can give easily uh, connect with that and uh, talk about you know how to approach in uh, way to resolve those kind of a thing. So for me as a member, also it provided a lot of opportunities. And from transitioning from member to regional team, that was another journey. And from regional team to, to managing uh, Mumbai with almost uh, 4,200 plus uh, members. So that has been another journey. And now, uh, you know, we are talking about uh, recently we have uh, uh, achieved another huge milestone of 50,000 plus members across uh, India, you know, it's uh, one of the, it's a big the great achievement, yes, I would say. And uh, see, when we talk about the numbers per se, uh, a lot of people, they say, oh, why you are talking about numbers? I said, no, my goal is not the uh, numbers. I'm looking at, you know, how many lives you are uh, positively touching. You know, it's a change. Uh, so that is what uh, I really love about touching their lives positively. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, really inspiring, uh, Mr. Hemu. I was also uh, told that you're very good with names and having so many chapters, so many members. How is that you remember these names? Jibran, it's, uh, you know, I learned from one of my mentor, you know, how to, you know, when you interact, you know, you're going to a, a different uh, network. So when we shake hand, first thing, you know, uh, when you get uh, introduced like Jibran, so hi Jibran, uh, you know, you are into digital marketing. So Jibran, how many years you have been into this particular uh, the field and uh, how it's been uh, so far. Uh, Jibram, can you explain me, you know, about your, uh, you know, the best moment of your uh, career? So in, in my conversation, I bring in Jibran or the name of that particular person uh, many a time. So, you know, it gets registered, uh, the, the name and the face. So uh, that's how, you know, that's how, that's how I learned from my, uh, the mentor. So I think I, it still works. You know, during my conversation with any new introduction, I try to repeat that many uh, name many a times. Yeah. That's a that's a very interesting hack. Yeah. Now, as I understand that networking and managing a networking organization is a very extensive work. What is your go-to uh, daily routine which allows you to be energetic to handle this? Wow, I mean, this is a fantastic question, uh, Jibran. Uh, let me put it this way, you know, it's, I don't look it as a, uh, you know, the work uh, because the kind of um, the interaction what you have with the members and knowing them and, uh, you know, with the perspective of uh, helping uh, to them to scale up. Uh, that's what makes it interesting. So I don't know, you know, people talk about how you manage your time and how you keep your energy level throughout the day, same level, you know, it never drops. I feel, you know, because of that connect, what is happening between those members, that keeps you energizing. I, I believe, you know, India has a lot of uh, uh, potential and uh, with all the kind of uh, progressive uh, programs coming up, uh, 
focusing on uh, SMEs, I think that is what very, very important. So I think BNI also, uh, you know, focusing towards uh, small and medium enterprises. So when we discuss, so that helps me create that energy and whatever information I collect, I go and share it with other members so that they can connect those uh, inputs and, you know, they can benefit from that. So I think that is a kind of conversation keeps me involved with them yeah that's great that's great so to the youngsters these days which are quite tech centric and very focused on only the phone what networking hack would you give them to break the ice in a room see uh, of course you know in one of the core values of bni i mean if i have to bring the bni in here uh, the we have uh, seven core values one of the core value is uh, you know tradition and innovation so i don't say the fo phone is completely bad or uh, you know it's uh, i don't put it in the negative tone but i always tell them to balance it you know because in person when i talk to jibran uh, the kind of uh, you know the expressions we exchange uh, the body language what we exchange it will never come through a, uh, the digital platform so uh, i i always uh, tell them yes it has to be there it, you have to have a balance uh, but at the same time, um, yeah, you have to uh, uh, keep changing because change is uh, constant. constant. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But uh, the digital uh, platform, I really appreciate it. It has brought in a lot of changes. A uh, lot of members are getting a lot of inputs about the different industries. So it is uh, helping a young generation. But my advice would be keep balance. Keep balance. Yes. Uh, Mr. Hemo, could you just let us know a little bit about one moment about in this entire BNI journey that really touched your heart or really impacted you? Well, Jibran, in one of my presentations, you know, I spoke about my goal. You know, uh, in BNI, we talk about uh, the you know what uh, what you want to achieve. So, in one of the meeting, I said I want to retire from this business, and I announced the date. Time, uh, the date, month, and the year. So uh, a lot of people were surprised, like, you know, why? I mean, that is the five year from there. Uh, it was somewhere around uh, 2012. And I said, I would like to retire from that particular business uh, by 2017. And uh, uh, the date also, I still remember, it was 14th uh, November, uh, 2017. Uh, that is the date I wanted to re retire. but. It so happened, uh, like I openly said, I need your help to achieve this goal of mine uh, to the entire uh, chapter members. Of course, uh, they did help. Uh, then what uh, eventually happened uh, by 2016, I think I started preparing for retiring from that business. So uh, 2015, I gave up my membership. But 2017, on that particular day, I must have received hundreds of calls from my fellow BNI members. What happened to your goal? I said, yeah, it realized with all your help, I could uh, retire from that business and I uh, transitioned that business successfully. And it's a really, really memorable moment because it also um, helped me in sharing this information. You know, you have to share your goals with your fellow members or, you know, your relatives, your uh, co-workers, everyone. You share your uh, goals. Uh, you never know who can, uh, you know, help you in achieving that kind of a goal. In my uh, journey, it did happen. It did happen. Yeah. So you were able to achieve your financial freedom, if I might say, yes. uh, through BNI. And Absolutely. that's a memorable moment for you. Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely. really inspiring. We all hope that you could achieve that financial freedom. No, this is like one thing I always say, you know, to the members. You have a goal and you share it with others. And even the, let the universe know and let the universe conspire to make you successful the way you wanted it. That's amazing. That's very inspiring. Uh, Mr. Emo, could you just let us know a little bit about your personal interests? What are your hobbies and what excite you other than BNI? Okay, uh, you know, I'm a, a sports person. Uh, even my college uh, school days, I was uh, very keen on uh, playing, uh, you know, even the field uh, sports. And um, as I grew up, I took a lot of interest in cricket. So a lot of people, they don't know I played uh, the uh, league matches. Yeah, I, I was there uh, as an opening bowler. Now don't ask me to uh, turn my arm, you know, it adds uh, a <laughs> little uh, difficulty now. 
uh, maybe the age has caught up with me. Uh, but I still feel uh, the cricket keeps me very, very interested. I, I, I keep following uh, cricket and I enjoyed uh, playing uh, those league matches almost about four to five years. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, and even, uh, you know, when any sports event, I'm interested. Uh, what would be a moment in your life which would define success to you? Um, someone walking up to me saying, thank you, you know, because of that particular reason, I saw uh, it happen to me. I mean, when people come and tell me that uh, they succeeded in uh, whatever they uh, wanted to do, and they give you that credit, though I may not be the direct uh, person who's responsible for it, but they come and thank me because of uh, your that particular advice, it worked. I mean, that is the moment I really sure. cherish. Sure. This is the last question. What do you think about INC this year? Oh, INC this year, this is one of the largest uh, networking event uh, in terms of number of participants. Uh, you know, we started off with the goal of, uh, uh, you know, getting about 200, uh, 2,000 attendees, but now it's doubled. Uh, I think I must say the, the kind of teamwork what we have seen, you know, putting this uh, event together, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. I mean, uh, time and again, we have seen uh, we talk about uh, the teamwork, right? It always proves teamwork always works. Yes. And um, uh, the uh, what I'm looking forward, people coming and connecting with each other and collaborating opportunities, you know, creating between the members and more, uh, moreover, you know, celebrating their success. That is what I'm looking forward sure. for. Thank you. Thank so, you so much. Yeah, thank you for conducting the INC here in Chennai. It will be an absolute pleasure to meet you there as well. And thank you so much for giving this interview with us. Thank Mr. you so much. It was a pleasure. Plan. Yeah, it's uh, my privilege uh, to talk to you and uh, reach to uh, your audience as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Because uh, that's important, you know, what BNI uh, is all about and how the SME is going to benefit exactly. out of it. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So thank much. you so much. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.